the Joe Rogan experience. You, do you have a drink before you go on stage? I don't drink alcohol. At all? No. Nothing? Mm-mm. What about weed? I don't do any weed. You don't no smoke drug. any weed? Nothing? I grew up in a, a, a crack I environment. I understand. <laughs> I, I, think, I just don't, I mean. You alcohol, don't need it. Alcohol does nothing for me. It makes me sleepy. And um, I, my mama was an alcoholic. And I used to always say, I'm going to be nothing like this bitch. And so, <laughs> so <laughs> mission accomplished. Yeah. So I don't, I don't do it. My, my whole family drink and I just don't do it. Yeah. I don't, I don't smoke weed. I don't, you know, I was just telling them earlier, like Junebug tried to smoke weed one time and it, with his white friends, but they were so stupid, Joe. They didn't know how to roll the weed. So they got the, they got the, um, the, the copy of paper off the machine and rolled the weed in there. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, and Tommy lit it. it. It just burnt, and all the weed fell in his chest. And I beat the dog shit out of Junebug. <laughs> and I told him, uh, I don't buy enough grocery for you to create an appetite. You already fucking fat. Oh my God! And I just told my kids when they was young. I said, Look, I told my son I kill. I said, Look, I get food stamps, and I don't get enough food stamps for your weed habit. So we're not gonna do drugs. We're not gonna join gangs. We're not gonna do drugs. It's us, motherfucker. So we're not going to do it. So, but Junebug is the only kid I ever had that really tried to dab into weed. That's a weird way to do it, though, with copy paper. Well, they was, it's terrible for you. They would go to the ghetto and buy the weed out of, the, out of where I live at. They would go over to the ghetto. So I said, Junebug, how much, you know, how much weed you buy? 1.5 grams. What the hell is that? I don't know. And I called the police on him. I, I used to do <laughs> What are you? I did. I called the police on him to shake him up, right? And I, you, you know, called my, the police on him. Yeah, but I said, "Hey, we black, so leave your guns in the car." So come over here and shake my son up. The police get over there. The police and Junebug's son go to school together. This motherfucker come over there and start crying. We love you, Junebug. I said, "I didn't call you for the fucking cry." Now we all cry. <laughs> I was crying, so that didn't help. But eventually, I think he's gonna stop smoking now. He's gonna stop or start? I think he stopped. He I, I, stopped. I ran off all his friends. Mm. I told it. I said, look, your, your white son just lost his only black friend. I'm going <laughs> to fuck your white baby up. Bring him back over here with the weed. Then <laughs> 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 Jumbo like, everybody at my school say you a snitch. I said, fuck him. I whoop them white boys' ass. They said, you're a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> they said, I'm a snitch. Because I called, I called all the parents <laughs> over. I called all the parents. I said, they over here smoking weed. And looking at some little white girl pussy on the phone. I said, Jumbo, you black. You know how much time you get for this white pussy floating on these phones? Oh, like a girl from the school? Yeah, so yeah, I, you can get in trouble for that. Yeah, so I put the I put the I, I, I Chromecast the picture and oh I called all the parents like, "Who white baby pussy is this?" Oh my god, you put it on the TV? Yeah, I put it on the TV. <laughs> they was pissed off at me. Look, keep these bitches away from Junebug. Junebug <sighs> in tenth grade, this little dick is real, real small right now. He's fat. <laughs> trying to kill my baby. Trying to get my baby locked up for some white pussy. Junebug, oh. you don't fuck with white pussy. You ain't got <sighs> enough dick and you ain't got enough sense. Oh my god. So. So you had the parents come over and you yeah. had it on the television. I, had, I said, "Who white what, baby pussy this is?" What the fuck did they say? <gasps> I can't believe you did this. What the fuck you mean? It was on their phone. Your son looking at it too. <laughs> <laughs> they stormed <laughs> up out of there. <laughs> they stormed up. Out. They wouldn't speak to me at no no foot. Now, fuck y'all. I don't need no friends. Oh my god! I said, "Don't you ever in your life violate no girl." She gave it to one of the football players. He just passed it around to of everybody. Course. And yeah, and I told him, "I said, Junebug, think about it. it was your sister, Gariana." He's mm-hmm. like, Mama, get around and get naked. And if they did, can nobody see nothing? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but <laughs> that's just the stuff I went through. He's the only <sighs> one that ever really tried me. Because my other kids, you know, I tell, like, I tell my crack baby, I say, look, I'm going to take y'all out in public. But you got an option. Do you want the ghetto mom or do you want the soccer mom? And they don't like the ghetto mom. Because the ghetto mom would knock the shit out of them in public. And I give them an option. And we get in public. And white people always come to me like, oh, my God, your kids are so well disciplined. I said, I told them I was going to fuck them up. <laughs> <laughs> said, what do they say when you say that? They just look like, what? I said, you should fuck your kids up, too. <laughs> <laughs> I tell them, I said, oh. I said, I will fuck you up. Don't play with me. <laughs> I feed you. When we was coming back from the Disney cruise, they was all playing with those little things that separate, you know, when you're in line. Mm. So I told them like three, four times, stop. It was my grandbaby and it was the full crack baby. So they wouldn't stop, Joe. I slapped all of them at the same time. Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> and all the white people were like, what the fuck? I said, what you looking at me for? You want some too? Oh. I asked them to stop by four times. Don't play with me. You know my nerves bad. I've been shot a couple times. Y'all motherfuckers know I'm crazy. And I just tell them that. They good kids. They're good kids now. Oh, they know I fuck them up. 
<laughs> I have a lot of bits about them because, like, the just like I do this bit about. I used to do this bit about the teachers' school calling me all the time. White schools call you for anything, and anything, Joe. I mean, just dumb shit. Black schools, we tell them, look, bitch, that's your child at two thirty. Don't you wake me up. So one of the bits I used to tell, <laughs> one of the bits I used to tell, they called me by my niece Yolanda because she was sitting at the crayon table with her little white friends and they're talking about their daddies. So Yolanda said, "Well, the next time I see my daddy, I'm gonna stab him in the neck." And all the white kids started crying. And they asked me to come up there in an emergency, to come up there to talk to them. I get up there, I'm like, ma'am, she can't stab her daddy in the neck. The nigga in jail, somebody else gonna stab him in the neck. Don't wake me up for the don't wake me up for this bullshit. So they don't know how to handle anything. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to set the school down. I said, look, these kids are from the hood. They only talk and do what they know. You got to give me time to help them grow. But then they wanted to put them on medication. I said, what we will. Medication? Wouldn't? Yeah, because they didn't know how to deal with them. They had, they had so, so much. Like their mama was into horn. Their daddy was into drugs. Their daddy was beating on the mom. And they, they, they didn't know how to handle them. And I said, look, we're going to help them grow together. I said, well, what we're not going to do, we're not going to put these kids on medication. What we're going to do is surround them with love. They so good now. Out of five years, this baby just now passing the I-step test. It took a minute to get there, but he's finally there. What's, a, uh, what's the I-step? I those, pub, those standardized tests they give kids. Oh. And the kids just wasn't ready. Right. And, you know, I threw them in this neighborhood. I threw them in an environment that they wasn't used to. And then, you know, they talk their language. You see how country I am. Well, they talk straight streets. So sometimes, like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? We bowdy bowdy. No, the fuck you ain't. You better sit down if I bust you across your head. We bowdy bowdy? Yeah, they, they ready to saying? rumble. They ready oh. to fight. The little boy be like, I'm bowdy bowdy. I said, put your fucking finger down before I break it. 